Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Gold version, and as I say this, we are in Goldenrod City, we arrived here in the last video, and it's right about time for us to head into the Pokemon Gym, led by Whitney, but before we do that, I'm going to visit the Radio Tower, because we haven't done that yet. Oh, and it looks like our egg is actually hatching right now. This is exciting. And it's a Togepi. Togepi, you may remember from the TV show. Yes, it's a male Togepi. We'll call it... Wyatt. So... Why don't we go ahead and put Togepi at the front of the party for now. And as we can see, there's a member of Team Rocket waiting outside this radio tower. But um, we can uh, do a uh, quiz that will give us a radio app for our Poke Gear. so why don't we do that? We have to answer five questions correctly. Let's give it a shot. Can the town map be displayed on a Poke Gear? Yes. Yes, it can. Can the arena be female only? Yes. Does correct the Pokeball Crafts use Apricorn? It's misspelled, so no. Magikarp won't learn. Will not learn any TM moves. That is true. Songs Pokemon Talk Show is a very popular program. Is Marie the co-host of the show? Uh, and I think it's no. Yep, I think it's Mary, not Marie. Cool, so now we can tune into the radio on our Poke Gear. We don't have to do it very often, but it will be uh, useful as we and during some later parts. So I just want to explore in here a little bit. There's a Jigglypuff right there. Um, usually they'll play different songs on different days of the week, like either Pokemon March or Pokemon uh, Lullaby. Um, then there's also a lottery show where basically every week they'll do a um, a sequence of numbers, which is a, a sequence of, it's basically a trainer ID number, and if any of your Pokemon have that ID number, um, you win a Master Ball, I believe, which will always capture a Pokemon no matter what. So let's jump on in here. We haven't done a ton of training between Bugsy and Whitney here, so... Let's see how we do against the junior trainers, and then we'll determine whether we need to train a bit more. Like I said, this is a normal type gym, meaning Centret is normal. We'll also fight some Jigglypuffs and Clefairies and Meowths. Um, use Phil here. Like Falconer, uh, Whitney's signature move is actually not uh, the same as her gym type. It's actually a rock type move called uh, Rollout. And it's similar to Fury Cutter in that it, uh, it uh, gains power with each consecutive use, but if you use Rollout, you're forced to use roll out again until it misses, or until you've done it five times. So that's how that works. If we had a fighting type Pokemon, that would be helpful. Fighting is super effective against normal, and it might actually be the only thing that's super effective against normal. At least it is that I can think of. There's a way to get a Machop now, but it involves trading with an NPC, and I don't really want to take the time to do that. I didn't mean to use Tackle, I meant to do Thundershock. Whoops. Uh, 
uh, Whitney uses a Coley Fairy and a Mill Tank as her Pokemon. Coley Fairy is a threat because of its Metronome, which is a move that randomly chooses um, any, basically any Pokemon move that exists. And uh, Mill Tank knows Rollout and is really, really strong. And um, I believe it also has a move that can heal itself. So the goal is to take down Mill Tank quickly. Because otherwise it can do a lot of damage. We did all right against her. Let's see who the next person is. Another beauty. Give me your best shot or I'll take you down. It's cold in my house right now. But I don't want to use the heater because of the energy it uses. Let's use Alex. Payday is weird. It, uh... Payday, um, it, it's an attack, but uh, it creates extra money for whoever wins the fight. That might have been our only Pokemon. Alright, so our Togepi knows Metronome now, which is pretty unpredictable, so I think a Fel can handle this. Cool thing about Metronome is that you can basically use any attack. The bad thing about Metronome is that you can use any attack, even self destruct. Whoops. Alright, Phil. And self-destruct, as you can probably guess, is a basically a suicidal attack. Well, not suicidal, because the Pokemon don't die, but uh, your Pokemon will immediately faint after using it. It is a pretty powerful attack, though. Yeah, you got this. I will definitely want to run to a Pokemon Center. So why don't we go do that really quick? You can't really tell because you can't see the full picture of the full map of the gym, but it's arranged to look like a Clefairy. Which is just a fairy Pokemon. Hoping we'll be prepared enough to do the gym battle. I'm thinking maybe I should stop putting Wyatt out front. Let's put uh, Phil, Alex, and Roxy will probably be our mainstays. them from lowest to highest level. And then I should probably get some potions. Um, two super potions. Okay, I'll get a few more super potions. Okay. That should be pretty good for us. Oops. 
I think there's one more junior trainer in Whitney's gym, and then Whitney herself. So let's see if we can do that. That's Whitney there. Oops. Oh, then maybe there's two junior trainers. Oh, whoops. I'm up the wrong way. It's a little bit of a maze. A little bit. So, this one's unavoidable, it looks like. Not that we would avoid it. Unless Carrie wants to go. She has a snowball. It's a play team, so that might be a bit of a problem. We'll see though. What I may do is between this video and the next video is do some grinding. So I don't you don't have to watch me do that. Cause that can be pretty boring. Let's do this last trainer. I like keep it going. I don't even strong people, but I have strong hand to keep it. We'll see. There's three, uh, Jigglypuff, I think. I think they're all Jigglypuff. This should be too bad, unless one of the Jigglypuff uses Sing and puts us to sleep. But I'm hoping that will not happen. So I'm not sure what level Whitney's Pokemon are. I want to say her mill tank is level 21 or something. I think they're around level 20. Oh, we'll just finish off this so that Phil can level up. Oh no, our Thundershock has been disabled. Looks like this is going to be one with Tackle. I think we got her. Oh no. Oh yeah, we got her. Thunderwave. That's actually really good. Now we can just inflict paralysis on uh, our enemies. Okay, I'm gonna use a super potion on Phil, and then we'll see if we're ready. If not, then c'est la vie. Yeah, I'm with me. Hi, I'm Daisy. Everyone was into Pokemon, so she got into it too. So she is on the bandwagon. We will not stand for that. 
Let's take her down. If I'm not mistaken, she had a southern accent in the TV show. Okay, so metronome. Like I said, is wildly unpredictable. Looks like we're gonna do fine though, at least with Clefairy. And we have four super potions left, so I think we're going to do just great. Let's go ahead and use one of those super potions now, just in case. There's fully paralyzed. Cool. Okay, now going up against Miltank, the cow Pokemon, who is right off the bat using Rollout. Some paralysis ought to fix that. Like I said, Miltank has a lot of HP and a lot of defense, so maybe difficult to bring him down. We're getting pretty lucky here, it looks like. Stop, I know. Let's try another super potion. I'm not sure if Whitney's going to use a healing item on Miltank, but she might. Nope, she's not. Well, good for us. We made short work of Whitney. Phil, level 19. Whitney was defeated. You're mean. You shouldn't be so serious, you child. So Whitney is having a crying fit because she is really upset she lost. So we just need to talk to her again. It's weird, there's a little bit of lag going on. Don't know why. Did that fix it? Not sure. Oh, I thought she gave us rollout as uh, the TM, but she only gave us a track. Oh, that's okay. So, there's a thing we can get now that we've beaten Whitney, we can return to that florist that we went to in the previous video. Funko. Anthony. It's working. How are your Pokemon doing? Okay, nothing useful from him. Let's talk to her. Oh, no better than Whitney. You know about that moving tree. So we could have seen this tree already, but we haven't. Um, it basically blocks the intersection that would connect um, Goldenrod, uh, Violet, and Ecritique City. Let's head up more. Strange tree is blocking the road. It wiggles around if you talk to it. Right, it became wild when someone wanted it with a squirt bottle. So it's actually a Pokemon, and we'll try our best to catch it. Let's 
gonna lie it back up front so we can raise him a bit. And just north of here is the National Park. And on certain days in the National Park, you can do the bug catching contest, which is pretty fun. It's kind of like the Safari Zone in um, Pokemon Red and Blue. And we can catch Scyther and Pinsir and Pokemon like those. We'll probably want a Scyther since it can learn False Swipe, which is extremely useful for capturing Pokemon. Um, it's the bug catching contest is on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays though, so we won't be able to get it today. My mom's calling us. She bought another item for us. Let's fight these two trainers and then we'll probably be good for today, or for this video anyways. Sentry. Oh, whoops. Mm. Maybe you'll remember an episode of the Pokemon TV show where Ash went to an independently owned Pokemon gym and the leader had a Sandshrew and the Sandshrew um, was really powerful, really well trained. Just gonna let Alex level up here. It knew the move Fisher, which is a one-hit KO move in the game. Which is probably why it was so powerful in the TV show. I was trying to show off to his girlfriend, but we spoiled it for him. Oh, uh, sounds like some trouble in the relationship. That's too bad. See what she's got. Pikachu, the world famous. Send Alex out one more time since Electric is weak against Grass. She's trying to lower our attack with Growl. Didn't do that again, though. Okay, oh, we actually have enough time for one more trainer battle. So let's do it. Getting Pokemon down off my radio, I think I'm good. As soon as we can get a Diglett, which unfortunately is not until much, much later in the game, we'll be getting one, because Diglets are great. It didn't take much good to it, buddy. Let's give him a taste of Wyatt followed by Phil.
All right, one more to Diglett. I'll let Alex do that. Oh, maybe I should have had Paul do it. Oh, well, that's all right. Good place to stop so thank you all for watching next time we will be going into the national park and maybe even into a critique city so see you all then bye bye